If you're in the market for a home, you need a loan amortization schedule. This is my favorite one right here. It is from Microsoft. You can download it for free. I will not ask you for any information. Let's dive into it right now. I'm going to make the loan amount 420,000 is the asking price of the house. And let's assume we're putting 20% down. So that's going to be 420,000 times 0.8. That is the amount we're going to finance right there. The 336,000, the annual interest rate. The reason I'm making this video is after four years, the federal reserve has cut the interest rate 50 basis points. So mortgage rates are falling. They're at the lowest they have been since early 2023. And today is September of 2024. So the interest rate today was 6.09%. I'm going to make, put that in there. 30 years for this loan, number of payments per year, 12. And the start date of the loan, you can either type a date or to get a date in there, if you want to put today's date, control semicolon. Once you've got all five fields filled in, the loan amortization schedule fills out. That's really great, by the way. We start with payment one, and I'm not going to scroll down, but we end up with payment 360, and the thing is paid off in full then. You can see that as you make that payment, the principal, every time you make a payment goes up and the interest goes down, as you can see this. If you want to compare two loans, easy to do here, but if you're doing multiple loans, I would encourage you to use Scenario Manager in Excel if you have no clue how to use it. A video is posted up in the top right, and the link will also be down below. But if I want to compare this with just one other loan, I want to copy all these formulas over here in column I. So I'm going to highlight them. Just going to right click and drag them over into J, let go, and copy here as values only. If you, they don't format right, hit the comma and lose the two decimals. There you go. Second loan, I am making this up. Instead of a $420,000 asking price for the house, there's another house. And I'm making this up. It's $446,000. Still putting 20% down. And maybe the interest rate is slightly different. Instead of 6.09, it is 6.15. Still 30 years, same information. So here is your comparison right here between those two loans. Please note that that scheduled payment in I3 is the principal and the interest. I listed in column M other items that could be in your house note, taxes, insurance, possibly an HOA. And if you don't put 20% down, depending on your loan type, you could have private mortgage insurance. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out my online training classes down below and have a wonderful day. Thank you.